here it comes. This is my useless assistant. Assistant, is that all I am to you? No, you're not even that, my really. McGee. <laughs> you, you're not even that, to be honest. <laughs> and this is top bodies. So this is going to be our first. There you go. Exercise training thing with my beautiful assistant Dominica. All right, get in and get this shit done. This is Hadj, our illustrious leader. Nah. Hiding now, he's got all the See, it's all right when you're in front of the fucking camera, isn't it? For change. Right. Okay, so. If you'd like to lay down on the bench, young man. You have to have the flash on, it shows me teeth though. Yes. It's the fucking only thing that shows up on you. I'm in nostrils. <laughs> right. In general, for a grip, what you're looking at, just let go of the bar, mate, don't please. Put your arms straight up in front of you. And then just lower them to 90 degrees. Lower them, bend them down to 90 degrees. So what you're looking at is that in this position, this is 90 degrees. So the low's coming directly down. That's your standard neutral grip width for you. You go slightly narrower, it's going to put more tricep emphasis on it. Slightly wider, more outer pec emphasis. Second thing, arse and hips planted on the bench, feet planted on the floor. You make a triangle. Stability. And then, head, shoulders, head and shoulders pushed into the bench and chest lifted up. Now, grip the bar, please. Now, you can use uh, all sorts of grips. Don prefers suicide, which is a thumbless grip. This does allow the weight to sit in the palm and transverse better and does take out some of arm recruitment. Then you lower the bar with control to the chest. You're aiming for about the nipple line and then a nice clean push up. And you're pushing up. You're not pushing back over your shoulders. Keep your head into the bench. Keep your chest lifted forward. Chest is always pronounced up. And a nice and controlled. And it is that simple. It really is. So as you can see, good, smooth tempo. Little pause at the bottom will allow any uh, tension to come out of the tendons in the way of spring. If you're bouncing off the chest, then it's tendon spring that's going to do the load. It's not the muscle itself. And rack it. Other little tips, drive your head backwards. Now, especially if you're working for power, drive your head backwards and focus on pushing away from the bar, not pushing the bar away from you. Also, could you get back in position? I want you to lift your feet on the first couple of reps. Just lift them up, yeah, nothing major. So, this puts you in a very weak and unstable position because you're literally balanced on the bench. Now put your feet down and plant them and push through your legs. You feel a difference in power straight away. Leg drive does have an impact on your pressing power. So does core stability. This is important. And that is basically it, guys. There's not much more to it than that, really. It's quite simple. Right. Oh, shit, that's right. I can't get this camera to swap around for some reason. So... Um, that's the first exercise done, is benching. And uh, next week we'll, we'll add another one in. Thank you very much.